Hi, and thanks for choosing Pebble Host. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can install snapshots onto your Minecraft server. So a snapshot is basically an experimental version of Minecraft which shows off new stuff and updates before the update actually comes out. Anyway, let's get right into it. So I'm going to show you two different methods here. The first method will just be for the latest snapshot, and the second method will be for any snapshot that has ever existed on Minecraft. So if you want the latest snapshot, scroll down to server type and click on the jar and pre-install menu. From here, then go to vanilla on the left, and then select the vanilla Minecraft snapshot, and then of course have the latest snapshot. And we also actually have the 1.19 Deep Dark experimental snapshots, and these are slightly different to the normal ones. So then from here, select the one you want, I'll click this one, and then click save at the bottom right. Once you've selected your version, you can click restart at the top right. So as you can see, our server has started up successfully. So now I'm going to show you the second method. Alright, so first of all, we're actually going to need our server jar file. So to find this, go to the Minecraft launcher. So once we're on our Minecraft launcher, we want to go to the top and go to installations. We can then click new installation, and where it says version, we want to find the snapshot that we want. So of course, you can go as old as you want here. So I've scrolled down to snapshot 20w14 infinite, and this is a snapshot with infinite dimensions. And then wherever it says server and then download, we'll click that. And as you can see, it's asking us where we want to save it. We'll keep it in our downloads and then click save. So as you can see, we now have it in our downloads. From here on Pebblehost, we want to scroll down to server type and click on the jar and pre-install menu. Once we're in here, we want to go to other and then select custom jar. Once you've selected it, click save. And we'll just leave this as custom.jar for now. Click change. And as you can see, our server type is now custom.jar. So then from here, we're going to go to the left of the file manager, click upload, file, and then grab our server.jar. It will then start to upload. And now in our file manager, if we scroll down, we have our server.jar. So then we can click back. And now once again on server type, we're going to change the custom jar to the name of our jar file, which was of course server.jar. Once we've done that, we can click save. So then from here, we can restart our server. If you do get an error while trying to boot your server, go to the left, the Pebble Host Loader, and then on the Java version, change it from Automatic Selected to the most recent version of Java. Once you've selected that, then click Save. Then you can click back, and then you'll want to restart your server. Alright, so I've now loaded up Minecraft, and as you see, I am in the 20w14 Infinite snapshot. And our server is right here. So this snapshot has so, so many dimensions. And I'm just going to show you that it actually works. So if I was to do warp ant, it takes me to the ant dimension, where this thing will start drawing out something on the floor. Or we could do slash warp red, and it takes me to the red dimension. There is also other ones with portals. However, this, of course, isn't a tutorial on how to use this snapshot. But yeah, just to show that it does work. But anyway, hopefully you have enjoyed today's video. If you have, definitely leave a like and subscribe, and hopefully, I'll see you next time.